What up, what up, what up, what up, you all? This is your boy, your man, Darren Suleiman. Thank you for tuning in again for yet another vlog. And for today, again, we will have a um, quick restoration of a shoe na sobrang tagal ko nang hindi nagagamit. And for me, it's an, not an ultra rare, but a rare shoes. Also, it's in the silhouette of the Kobe line. Pero hindi siya like the Nike Kobe word na meron siya. Um, what I'm talking about is the Nike Rache Air Max Zoom uh, 2K4. It's an Air Max on a Zoom in the in the forefoot, in the heel, and then there's an Air Max 90 here at the back. Na medyo madilaw dilaw na, madilim dilim. Pero oh, i restore natin yung lahat. The only problem with this shoe is we don't have any red glue sorry yung paling is yung mga yung wala natin problemahin is wala natin yung red glue dun sa shoe but meron siya mga residue ng glue dun sa mismong leather uh, for information this shoe was made from oh October 15 2005 until November 11 2005 yan focus ka onti onti lang yan kung nakikita nyo nandyan yun yeah, it's the production date na itong shoes na to. So, sobrang tagal na niya. So, 5, almost 14? 14 years itong shoes na to. So, yun. So, sobrang tibay pa rin niya. And you could prove that old shoes are more durable than the shoes right now. And sobrang dumi lang niya. Sobrang tagal na itong shoes na to. Marami pa akong shoes na from the baul talaga, as in the literal baul na sapatos like this one na na-restore ko last time pero hindi ko na siya vlog kasi uh, gusto ko siyang gamitin and for a day, tinapos ko siya ito yung isang Kobe Reverse Del Sol meron itong black colorway, ito yung white na colorway papakita ko yung picture sa inyo dyan yan, yun yung itsura niya before and ito yung after and ito naman yung itsura nung suot ko siya Yan. Yan yung itsura niya. So, yun. Okay naman. Wala naman problema. The only problem... Wala naman problema? Kaya wala naman problem. Gulo. But, the only issue. Sige, issue na lang. Is yung mga ibang parts na may glue is nag-fell off na. Kasi yung shoes is also around 2007, 2006, 2008. Production din tong shoes na to. But, all is good. No, meron lang siyang onting bakbak tahi doon sa gilid. Hindi ko na malala kung pinalaro ko to, pero alam ko hindi. And sobrang tagal na ito shoes na to. Siguro almost 5 years, 7 years. Diba? Dami ng kubing yun. May kubing ng bago. And yun. So without much further ado, ang gagawin natin today, and we'll focus on this Rachi 2K14 LEQK. Um, according to sa research ko, this is a rare pair of Rachi. Kasi yung Hirachi na before, like you all know, is neoprene. Yung materials na like the rubberized, like this one, itong rubberized na to. At ito ang part. Yan. Ito ang part. And pag pansinin mo dito, it's a uh, leather. Kaya medyo nabakbak na yung leather niya rito. Napalaro ko ako ito before and then naipit na, nastuck na. Wala na. Nga nga na. Ha? So, ayun. So, linisin natin siya on the side. Yung mga delicate parts, like kagaya na may mga biyak-biyak, ayan, yung mga biyak-biyak, biyak yan. Yung mga ba na yan. Biyak. Ayan, lalo na to. Sobrang hindi nung pagkabiyak yan. Meron lang itong shooty sa loob na nilagay ko. Just for the thumbnail ang ginawa ko kanina. Ang gagawin natin is we will clean the shoes, pero hindi ganun katapang. And then, we will use some rejuvenator to clean the shoes. Yung mga delicate areas na natamaan, and then, Ginawa ko siya sa, sa Kobe, yung meron siyang na-tear na part, nilagyan ko siya ng too hard. Ngayon, yung tear na part, hindi na siya gumagalaw. Semi-tahi na siya, and then meron siya nito. Patibay siya. So, we will experiment. This, this is a kind of experiment. Experimental? <laughs> this kind of experimental um, kind of restoration vlog. Eh, tingnan natin kung maayos natin siya. Ayun. Okay pa talaga siya eh. Anyelo lang and... Yeah, so, let's go. 
So the very first things first natin is to remove the shoelaces. Ang tagal, ganito na lang. Okay na. Tanggal na natin yung laces. Ganun mo kabilis. Magic. And then, lalagyan natin yung ating shoe tree. Adjustable shoe tree. Ayan, okay na. Shoes all prep done. Next is get our bone and water. And of course, our shoe cleaning kit. Two squirts. Two? Two squirts. One. And of course, the softest bristle brush. Me. guys, after siya malinis focus siya, kinukus siya sa toe box kasi sobrang dumi ng toe box niya and lumabas na yung mga uh, cracks niya so, what you gonna do is grab your microfiber towel punasan nyo siya kagad in a delicate way yung pinakabanayad lahat na yung pwedeng gawin dahil, yun nyo nag crack wide open na yung gilid niya pero luminis naman and tuloy nyo lang Pero kailangan medyo, yun nga, smooth lang yung paglinis mo dahil sobrang delicate na nung mga parts niya. It's clean. Next is the midsole. Linisin natin siya using the medium bristle brush. This one. Medium bristle brush. Let's do this. Of course, pati yung mga shoelace, kailangan natin siyang lilis and just tip 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 All set and clean, may right pair. Next na gagawin natin, is kaya yung sinabi ko, we will apply too hard dun sa paint na nagka-crack na. And tignan lang natin, this is an experiment, kung gagana ba talaga siya, kagaya nung ginawa ko rin sa Kobe 5 ko na Del Sol. Na hindi na nga natanggal yung tikit, na parang tumibay yung paint nung, parang tumibay. Hindi na siya, naging parang flexible na paint yung nangyari. So, cover up lang natin to, subukan natin kung gagana, dahil madami na ang nagchichip na paint sa kanya. So, kailangan itong too hard, ito ginagamit to apply adhesive, paint coating dun sa shoe na pag gagamitin mo siya sa mga parang plastic kagaya ng ganito pinto namin ganito or yung midsole na na, na para discover ko lang din na ginagamit nga siya sa midsole so ngayon nga gawin nga natin is we will apply this into those parts na nagka na so of course our brush paint brush and too hard
Now, na-play na natin yung too hard dito sa yung mga parts na nagbabakbak yung leather para nag-cover up nga yung leather, yung too hard dun sa leather pero yung discoloration din natin, natin matangkal, hindi natin siya pwede patungan din ng white kasi uh, mag-iiba naman yung color tone nung sapatos kung wow, magiging halata naman na meron siyang white one. But so far for me ox naman siya only problem is this side and that side Now, para mag, di naman siyang mukhang natuyo na itsura dahil nga iba yung na-plant siya na too hard Nalagyan natin siya ngayon ng finisher, which is yung matte acrylic finisher natin. The hand jibas pa rin. Okay? Let's go. Ay! By the way guys, meron tayong isang product na ginagamit para hindi din mag-crease yung shoes natin or we prevent this kind of um, damage to the shoes and this is the, the sneaker shields it comes with a small, medium, large sizes I think the small is for the girls the medium is from size 9.5 to 12 and the large are from 10, uh, 11 to 14 but you can check out on the website, on Facebook, this is not a uh, sponsored uh, video. It's not sponsored by Sneaker Shield. I am just happy that they've invented this such um, protection for your, um, for, your, for your creases. No? Um, this looks like this. That, but it's the same. Left, left and the right. Just put it down here. This is the right pair. Put it like that. Like this. Come on, focus on that. Focus, focus. Like this. Enjoy sa loob. This how it this is how it looks like inside the shoes. And then it will prevent your shoes from creasing because it holds up here, here, and here. So this is one is the the extra rigid design and meron they have the tough one. It's so brand gas and if you're not used to using this such kind of sneaker protector for your insoles, uh, for your for your creases, sorry, for your toe boxes, uh, I think that uh, I recommend you to use this extra rigid design, the white one, not the black one, because the black one is harder than this extra rigid design one. That's all. So after I've discussed the sticker shields with you. The shoes is done and I'm just up, I'll just apply I'll just apply some rejuvenators for more protection. <laughs> yeah. So that's it guys. Thank you for watching again. Ito na yung ating finished product. This is the right pair na repair natin for this vlog. And this is the old pair. With those corrugated leathers. And this one with the refined, smooth, too hard leather. Minus the discoloration of the day. So this is it guys. Thank you for watching again. Hope you liked the vid. I hope you liked the video. And if you have any comments, suggestions, or any reactions, just hit the comment section down below. Hit the subscribe button to be part of the family and hit the notification bell for you to get notified whenever I upload my new vlogs about this one, this guy's travel vlogs, thanks and whatsoever. And I hope to see you guys again next week or next next week. It depends, but assuredly I will upload every month for any kind of vlog. So thank you so much again guys. I hope to see you again next week. Peace, heads up, feet on the ground. He will help you. <laughs>